twin sister got kicked out. They definitely wanted me kicked out too, it felt like. button below and turn your post notifications on so you never miss another video. So this week we are doing something totally new and different. We were pretty skeptical about doing this because it's so different from what we normally do and it has a lot of like juicy secrets in it. So grab your chips, grab your popcorn because it's about to get real. So in today's story time, we thought we'd share our high school experience with you because I guarantee it was different than your guys' high school experience. We're going to be telling you guys how Pam got kicked out of our private high school freshman year. <laughs> So this was a private high school. We had to follow a very strict uniform. We had to wear skirts, a certain shirt, knee-high socks, and we kind of had trouble with that to begin with. The skirts were always long on us, so we had to get them hemmed, and then they'd be too short. We didn't like wearing knee-high socks, so we'd always get in trouble for ankle socks. We did occasionally get in trouble for our phones because the school was very strict about it. You could not get away with pulling your phone out for two minutes to text your ride or anything. But everything started to go downhill around the end of our first semester. I'm in my second period, just got to school, and I get called into the dean's office. Mind you, this was my first time getting called into the dean's office ever, so I did not know what it was for. I had no idea what to expect. But I go in there and she has printed out a stack this thick of all of my Twitter posts. The dean had told me that one of the students' parents were concerned, so they sent in all my tweets to them. I was young, I would tweet a lot of stuff, a lot of song lyrics, stupid stuff, like one was fuck school, and they took that one very seriously. They also took another tweet out of contact saying that I was suicidal. She said, how about you come back in a few, I'm gonna look over the rest of these and we're gonna figure out what we're gonna do with you. So I go back to class and everybody's already telling me that my twin got sent to the dean's office, that Pam might be getting kicked out of high school. I'm like shaking and nervous. Like, this was only two months into the school so I'm already struggling to like make friends and now they think that we're just some bad kids that were getting kicked out. So it's after lunch. I'm of course trying to figure this all out. I'm trying to delete some of my tweets and all of a sudden my teacher says, Pam, let me see your phone. You know you're not supposed to be on it. So the teacher takes my phone and right when I think that this day couldn't get any worse at all, I get called into the dean's office again. And that teacher had apparently guessed my passcode. So at this point they have all of my tweets, they have my phone, so they have all of my text messages and all of my pictures, which they did look through by the way. So now this dean's labeling me, saying that I'm not fit for the school, and mind you, I wasn't any of these things, so it was super upsetting to me. She wouldn't listen to me that they were song lyrics or anything else I had to say, really. They called my parents, had my parents pick me up, and later on, we had a hearing. At the hearing, I was pretty much just over it, and the dean shows my parents everything, my phone, my tweets. <laughs> she said that if I wanted to stay at the school, I would need counseling, and that all my grades would get lowered, and what else, I couldn't go to pep rallies. So that was pretty much the end of that school and it was really unfortunate because I couldn't even go freshman year to school with Tana. We went to different high schools because she stayed and I left. 
It was very hard for me, one, to be out of school with Pam. I was so used to being with her and it really got me like just depressed and less motivated to the point where I was sleeping in first hour and I just wasn't really chatty and she actually went and called my mom and told her that I was anorexic. Mind you, I've been this same size my whole life. I definitely was never anorexic. I believe it was because I was sleeping a lot in her class so she somehow got worried and called my mom saying that I was anorexic and asking about my eating habits and it was really crazy because this teacher in particular watched me eat at lunch every day I was like if you watch me eat every day like what's your problem it was to the point where they almost kicked me out the last week of school and I was so nervous like come on it's the last week just let me pull through this but their rules were just so ridiculous and the teachers were just like so nosy that it was really hard to make it through the year on top of everybody having their rumors about Pam and everybody have eyes out for me it wasn't the best high school experience experience especially for your first year but we graduated high school thank god we Period. made it through <laughs> and we graduated together still so they yes. didn't stop us so that is it for this week's video we hope you guys enjoyed our little story time if you guys do want more story times or have any video suggestions please comment them below we really appreciate it and if you guys did enjoy this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe below if you haven't already and we'll see you guys next Thursday